guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the integral of 1 over sine squared of x times cosine squared of x. So what we're going to do is look at the denominator. So I'll just write it out. Sine squared of x times cosine squared of x. Now we can simplify this as sine of x times cosine of x, all squared. So this looks something similar to the addition formula. So I'll just write it out here. Sine 2 of x equals 2 sine of x times cosine of x. Now if we divide both sides by 2, this will give us half sine of 2x. This equals sine of x times cosine of x. So you can see that this equals this inside the bracket. So we can just substitute the left-hand side. So this is going to look like brackets a half sine 2 of x, all squared. And this multiplies out as well, half to the power of 2 is a quarter. And sine to the power of 2 is sine squared 2x. So now we want to substitute this back into the integral. So this is going to look like integral of 1 over a quarter times sine squared of 2x dx. So because it's 1 over, it's essentially uh, the denominator to the power of minus 1. So I just wrote it like that. So you get a quarter times sine squared of 2x all to the power of minus 1 dx. So now we can just multiply the power inside the bracket. So a quarter to the power of minus 1 is just 4 and sine to the power of minus 1 is cosec. So this becomes cosec squared 2x. And now we can integrate this. So the integral, I'll just write it here, the integral of cosec squared x equals minus cot of x. So integral of 4 cosec squared will be minus 4 cot of x. So this will look like minus 4 cot of x. But we also have to take into account the 2x here. Oops, sorry, 2x. 2x. So we have to use the reverse chain rule because if we differentiate this now, we'll get 4 cosec squared of x times 2 because the derivative of 2 of x is just 2. So we basically have to multiply this by a half. So this is going to become minus 2 cot of 2x plus c. So there you go, the integral of 1 over sine squared of x times cosine squared of x.